funny. So the figure that we're going to look at today is a drag hesitation in silver international standard waltz. Uh, useful socially and competitively. The first half of the video, I will cover leads part. The second half, I'll cover the follows part. I'll go over the footwork as well as the most common mistakes and simple fixes to help this look and feel better for you. Okay? So let's get started. Make a really easy lead in. It will be a double reverse. So for today's purposes, we'll show that. Um, and an uh, easy exit uh, will be a back lock. Um, and I'll give you a gold option at the end as well. So the figure is going to look like this. And I'll just isolate the figure. First, if we can zoom in on my feet for lead, we go in with a toe flat heel with maximum turn out in the foot. We drive around the girl with our right toe. We close the left toe to the right, but we don't transition weight. Our next foot is back on the left. So it's not like a reverse turn step side together back on the right. It's a variation. It's left, right, drag hesitation, and then we exit back on the left foot. Okay, let me show from another angle, okay? Let's go down the line of dance this way. So my footwork is lead is forward, around my girl, pull the left foot in, and my next step is outside of partner, going back on the outside edge of my left toe. So the hardest part of this figure is actually your transition into the next figure. The figure itself is quite easy. Okay, now I'm going to come down line and dance right at you, okay? Our timing will be one, two, three, and then the next step will be four into something else going backwards. Okay, now I'm going to go down line and dance this way. I am inside the partner, I'm inside the partner, I'm inside the partner, but my next step is outside the partner. Okay? Okay, now I'm going to go down line of dance this way. So I'm thinking about a right side lead, a right side lead, I close it off and I switch to a left side okay. okay, let's cover some common mistakes and fixes. So my first request is to stay on the standing leg as long as possible on step three. That will give your lady a good lead to drive forward on your next step out. I'll show both wrong and right so you can see the difference. So leads tend to be pretty good here, pretty good here, pretty good here, and then they're back. So make sure your head stays ahead of your butt and your ribs. I'll show a little bit better lead. And I'll stay here when that magic moment happens. One, two, three magic moments. Magic moment. So if you see my head is upright and ahead of my knee rather than Midweight, you'll end up pulling on your girl with your arm, and that's quite uncomfortable for her. I'll show that from another angle. I'll go down line of dance this way, okay? So, one, two, wait on that foot, wait on that foot, wait on the foot. So the key is, if we zoom in on my back foot, I'm in the top part of the shoe leather. This is a toe going back, so I roll through the foot. It's not a ball. Going back, okay? It's a toe, tippy tippy top of the foot, okay? Um, leads, next request. I, where are we looking? Um, many leads stare at the girl when they're doing this. I don't know why you're looking at her, but it kind of creeps her out. I want to look where I was going in this figure. So, generally speaking, when I'm dancing as lead, my eyes are looking where I was or where I'm going. 
pretty rare we would look at our girl that doesn't telegraph to her or the other leads in the room where you're going. So this will make floor craft a little easier if you think about looking where I was, where I was, looking where I was, and looking where I was. Okay? I'll show that. I'm going the other line with Dan. Leads is try not to bank the arms when you bank when you do any turning figure and this is a turning figure so what I would love not to see and feel is one two three little bird clapping wings so we are going to compress very low in the legs at the start and the finish but the elbows are going to stay high so I want you to think about pressing up underneath her arm at all times with this right wrist so not pointing down at her keister like you would in a tango, but up, 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 elbows. I'd rather have these elbows too high than too low. So um, obviously we're ideally going um, for parallel shoulders with the floor. Um, so heel, toe, no dipping, no dumping, even, 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 and even though we're very low here, we don't want to dip down. Okay, ladies, let's talk about flat parts. Um, and at the end of this video, guys, I'll, I'll show you a couple um, entrances and exits that are comfortable for a girl. Okay, ladies, our footwork, and for today's purposes, we'll go in from a double reverse. So uh, just isolating this figure, we're going to go back on the right toe with turn in on the top of the foot, thigh on the left skin side edge, pull that right toe in, and we're not going to transition weight here, so it's not going to be like a second half of reverse turn where we step side together, coming out on the left foot, this step's a little fancier. We're going to go step, side, Pull, and my next step will go outside of partner, forward, toe, flat, heel, forward, into something. I'm not sure what it's going to do, but I know for a fact the next step will be outside of partner, going forward on my right heel. Okay, I'll show that from another angle. This time, this will be my line of dance, ladies. We get a little closer to you. So I'm going to go back. Strong right side rib connection. I'm in closed position. I'm in closed position inside of a turn. So I step short, close, and I close the right foot to the left, but I don't switch weight. I stay on the left foot and I go through. Okay, ladies, let's cover some easy fixes to help this uh, work a little bit better for you. Uh, my first suggestion is the exit is the hardest part. The step itself is quite easy to follow. It's a little scary as lady to drive forward on beat one. I'm always used to dancing backwards, backwards, backwards. So my number one suggestion is whenever you get a lead to go forward, drive as aggressively as you can. It's very easy for the lead to stop you. He's bigger and stronger than you usually. But it's hard for him to make you go bigger than you go without engaging his arm. And once he starts pulling you, he'll drag you around the whole dance with that arm. And we know how we don't like that. So I'll stay here when that magic moment happens, ladies. Okay? So we're going back, side together. Ooh, 
I know I'm supposed to go forward, so I'm going to go big. I'm going to go big or go home there. Okay. Um, my suggestion to help you go big is to go toe, flat, heel, 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 and we're going to slide on that heel and push off the back foot. If you lift and pull, it's going to be choppy and heavy and short and squatty. Um, ladies, next request, similar to the man, when we drop really low in the legs to go big, you're going to want to drop the elbows. That's just how we're built as a human body. So make sure to stay high in the arms, even though we're low in the legs, and especially here, you want to dump down. Keep those elbows ahead of your bodies, ladies, that'll help you keep them high, and keep the elbows high. See that my elbows are high, not low. Elbows are high. Okay, next request, ladies. When you come out, I call it pointing the unicorn horn forward. So what I see a lot of in this figure is a decent back side together, then you get back weighted, and then your head is your unicorn horn is pointing backwards. We want a strong left side lead. So point that head forward into the wind into the direction you're going and we have a very strong left side lead here you're probably more naturally flexible than the man so we can help him there by giving extra torsion in the body do we see that as opposed to going straight forward through okay um, finally i want to cover some easy entrances and exits so uh, easy bronze entrance would be a double reverse, and I'll show this going line of dance this way first for lead. We have a double reverse. We have drag hesitation. And a nice easy bronze exit would be a back lock. There's uh, many combos that are, are options. This is just a very comfortable, easy or to lead option for your girl. Um, if you wanted a little bit um, fancier uh, exit, and you're doing like gold syllabus, you could do a follow reverse slip pivot exit that would look like this. Go reverse, drag hesitation. Oh, let's do outside spin. Let's do silver outside spin. Sorry. Back and around. Sorry, I was thinking the wrong angle. Um, so that would be a nice. Um, exit. Um, and let me show that for ladies, both those options. So, ladies, I'll show back in line again. This way, ladies, we have a double reverse, so easy bronze. We have the drag hesitation, and a forward lock would be an easy social dance or bronze syllabus exit. Um, and a little bit subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.